Michael, congratulations. Uh, a pretty emphatic win tonight. Were you surprised how straightforward that was? I didn't think it was. I thought I didn't play that well, but seeing the stats, it looked like I played okay. Just my doubles put me out, put me out the rubbish, really. That one, two, six really helped in the second session where I was sat in double. And then every leg in the side of one eater. How did you find it in general, the experience without the, the crowd and the artificial crowd noise coming in? Yeah, uh, it wasn't too bad. It's just a stereo, it's, it's just nice not to be booed or say you miss or whatever when you're throwing. But no, it's. He's still on the stage, he's still performing in front of millions of people, he's watching on the camera, never mind just the crowd. Because the thing is, even at the work, like the crowd might be what, 2,000, 2,500 people if they was here? But on camera, there's millions. That's, that's the scariest thing. So you still got them there, you just got to learn to put up with the, them not being here, you still got the noise and stuff. I've seen you put pictures on social media of your before and after weight loss. Do you feel sort of re energised after that? Is this like Michael Smith 2.0 we're seeing now? No, I'm going to go back to uh, minus 1.1 after this. It's like just not being at all. I can't do anything now. That was the scariest thing is not being able to keep what I was doing through lockdown. But now I've got to try, but I don't think there's going to be much time to do it. I just keep going back to the room just as long as I'm eating healthy and stuff like that. Hopefully it stays the same. I'm more scared of putting it back on than yeah, I'm losing it. Do you think you've inspired other players to do the same? So we've seen Glenn and Adrian have been talking about it as well. It's a long career and it's important to look after yourself, isn't it? Glenn only lost a pound, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, um, me and Glenn's been speaking since, I think, November, when all that stuck him out of the Grand Slam. Everyone thought we felt we was best mates. We were still talking. Just it was good for TV, wasn't it? But we, we were still talking all the way through that about the weight loss and what we can do and stuff like that. And I used my lockdown to a good thing instead of a bad thing. And hopefully Glenn, Glenn did as well, and hopefully he sticks to it just as well as me. And last year you came very close in Blackpool. Are you a man on a mission this week to go on better? Uh, the mission is to make the quarterfinals, and then once you get to the quarters, you're in the tournament, and then that's when you, you can ask me that question again, and I go on to win it. Just for now, I won the quarterfinals, and after that, that's when I focus on the, the finals and the win then. Just finally for me, you've got Mensa next to you. Are you confident you can deal with his pace over that format and you can break him down? Um, I don't, for the last couple of years now, I've not struggled with anyone's pace really. I've been, even with Mensa, I've beat Mensa a few times on TV as well over that. So I'm not really one for the paces. There's no crowds giving it the big and enough and large. Just, just get on with it now. I've, give, I've got over the fact of losing. I don't care about losing. Just make sure I win.